So what other countries do, they test. And the first test is they invest in their stock exchange. We call this portfolio investments because it's very easy and the rollout plan is very limited. For example, you just need to sell the stocks and bonds and convert your money into your home currency and that's it. <laughs> the risk is lower. So what happened? If you, uh, what are the factor that causes increase in portfolio? Number one, tax rate on interest or dividend. If you announce that those who invest in our uh, you know, stock, stock market, their dividend and, and interest incomes are not taxed. In that case, the other countries will invest in your stock market. And the DFI increased through portfolio investment. Number two, interest rates. So money tend to flow to, to countries with high interest rate as long as local currencies are not expected to weaken. So for example, in US, there is 10% interest rate. And in China, it is, for example, 21% interest rate. So everybody wants to earn money, right? So the MNCs or banks or governments, if they have spare money, they send their money here. Provided the exchange rate or Forex is stable. Otherwise, for example, if you invest here and earn 21%, interest rate but when you convert back to us the currency depreciate and you ended up earning five percent that should not be the case provided they are not expected to weaken understand so everybody wants to earn money so if you have a, enough money you send it to china earn 21 percent and convert back to us maybe after currency effect you will be earning ended up earning 15 percent which is very good right so money tend to flow to those countries which offer you high interest rate provided the exchange rate is stable or is not expected to weaken and then exchange rates investors are attracted to a currency which is expected to strengthen not right now it is strengthened it is right now weak but in future it will be Strengthen. When it will be strengthened, then when you convert back to your home currency, you will you will be having more dollars. Any question? Okay, now. No, 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 sir. The same extension of our argument that is impact of international capital flow, which means. The United States rely heavily on foreign investments. We already know that because many firms, they ask loan from other governments in dollars plus the stock exchange exchange in us is very powerful. Also the wall street is over there. Many non us firm also issue their securities in the us plus us firms are already in other countries as well. And they also issued, in dollars as well. Plus the US trade is also issues in dollars. So you heard that China give loan to US. US in dollars. They're strange. China don't give loan to US in form of UN. They give the loan in terms of US. So that's why the US economy is booming with foreign in, uh, foreign investment as well. That's why dollar is the most stable currency. It's proved to be stable currency and it is like according to gold. If, say if it is you know, according to gold or you can say that closest to gold. If you, in, you know, save your money with the dollar, it will be less affected by inflation like gold. Okay. Then foreign investors are especially attracted to US financial markets. Why? Because they offer high interest rate. So those 
third world country or developing countries when they have some extra businesses they have extra money they save it with us so there are swiss bankers swiss banks uk banks that are providing us dollar account so when the interest rate in their home currency is substantially low they invest in they provide or they save their money with the united states and they earn high dollar when they convert dollar with into their home currency they will receive more money so what is the impact of international flow of funds on us the interest rate and business investment in the us as well for example this is which market this is interest rate so this is demand and this is supply let me just also write it down here so this is the market for interest rate so previously this, this was the equilibrium let me just change the color of the pencil so that you can understand better so what happened this was the interest so it is high interest so by looking at this interest people from all over country they start investing their money with uh with the us as well so what happened supply of the money increased shift to the right what happened interest rate start decreasing right so the amount of money is also increased on the other hand this is the market for demand of funds this is interest so when the interest rate was in equilibrium people were demanding this much money for a loan to invest in their business so I just call this business investment here but since interest rate has decreased it causes movement along the curve here because we have more funds available here when interest rate decreases it means business investment also increases or if you cannot understand this graph just remember that you are a buyer why because you are a businessman you buy loan and you invest into your business and you make profit when you buy loan you want to pay cost higher or lower of course you want to pay the cost always lower so you want to buy the loan at lowest rate so if the interest rates are decreased from here like interest rates are decreased here so it is more cheaper for you to buy more loan and invest into your business when the cost is lower quantity of the loan will be higher you buy, you buy more loan by decreasing interest so investment going to rises when investment is rises you are making the goods at lower cost because businessmen always take loan with the intention lower is cost and when the cost is lower the you can export your products your export is also rising understand so what happened to the people who are providing more money to the us economy when for example their range is that at least right now is 15 5% if the interest rate down to 8% we will take out money take our money back to our home country because it is not feasible then then what up happened to this one when 8% is economy is hit with 8% people start taking out the money when people start taking out the money you see 
supply going to be shift towards backward so this is the law of supply and demand together it means market is always in equilibrium then this loop occur again again when some people are taking back money interest rates start rising and then what happen other countries member they start their dollar into the us market as well to exploit this higher interest rate and this boom in business investment boom also occur with the lower interest rate understand any question david you understand mm, i will certainly yeah most of it yeah carolina you understand um kind of yes <laughs> I'm so tired, sir. Sorry. The, the look <laughs> it's so a bit scary. too late here. <laughs> but yeah, remember this one. When interest rates are high, the capital inflow will be high, which causes. interest rate this interest rate go down decrease right decrease in interest rate will initiate more borrowings by a business right when business borrow more then what happen business boom or business boom means stock market or yeah stock market increase right and stock market increase what does it mean country is in prosperity or growth right this is the impact of international flow of funds on us see we are talking about us can you see the screen yes, yes. see our target was to to analyze us economy okay so now this is a question and question says i think we are out of time we need to do is okay we are 18 minutes wow you guys are really patient okay so we will start from here in our next class so remember there is an assignment I, i'm pretty much sure that you can do that assignment i sent you the complete ppts last time and i'm 100% sure that you can do that so remember the assignments you need to do i will accept in handwriting please do it in handwriting and take a picture and paste into a word format and send it to me rename as student id and then your name and then subject and then assignment number 1 understand so three things you need to follow one handwriting second you need to convert it into a word format take a picture and paste into a word and save the file accordingly id your name subject which is international finance and then assignment 1 yes uh are you putting the assignment on blackboard or sending we chat or both i will be uploading the assignments on blackboard as well and also on we chat as we chat as well so you need to send me the assignments 